DC had high hopes for Blue Beetle, so why did it suffer the same fate as Shazam Fury of the Gods and bomb big time? Turns out that timing is everything. Despite getting mostly positive reviews from critics and audiences alike, DC's latest effort, Blue Beetle, ended up flopping at the box office. While Blue Beetle did kick Barbie out of the top spot at the box office after it spent a whopping four weeks there, the film only earned around $25 million. So what kept Blue Beetle from being so buzzy? And why didn't it perform nearly as well as the studio executives at DC and Warner Brothers likely hoped? It probably came down to a few factors. For one, August is a tough month to release a huge movie. TV Tropes calls it a dump month and the back half of the month is usually reserved for movies that aren't expected to perform quite as well, seeing as everybody is wrapping up their summer fun. Kids are heading back to school or families are taking one last trip together, so the big releases are typically preserved for the holiday season. There are, of course, exceptions to this rule. Guardians of the Galaxy was released in August of 2014 and became an immediate hit. And like Blue Beetle, it was also the origin story of comic book characters that had largely been forgotten, except by the most ardent of readers. So what was the difference here? Part of it comes down to the marketing campaign, a dearth of major movie stars and some very, very unfortunate timing. Where did you go? Mama, I don't know. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. <laughs> Blue Beetle was always a risky movie, too. The film is based on a lesser-known character whose cast doesn't boast any enormous names, with the biggest being Susan Sarandon. It's all frustrating because Sholo Mari Duena has earned praise for his central performance as Jaime Reyes, but while he's a fan favorite on Cobra Kai, he's not yet a huge star. Marvel was able to get away with casting people like Tom Hiddleston and Chris Hemsworth before they became two of the world's biggest stars. However, for a movie to face off against star-studded flicks like Barbie, you might need to pack a punch slightly bigger with the casting. Blue Beetle also didn't wage the biggest marketing campaign. To bring Barbie into it again, that movie was simply inescapable this summer, while the average moviegoer probably wasn't even sure Blue Beetle was coming out. There's another issue here, though. Blue Beetle simply couldn't have a huge press tour to put its stars on the map because of the current double strike between sag and the WGA against major studios. In order to avoid crossing the picket line, stars can't do any publicity for past, present, or future projects. And while the stars of Blue Beetle have stood strong with sag and are also fighting for fair pay and treatment, it can't be overlooked that their timing was absolutely terrible when it came to publicity. Frankly, DC hasn't been doing themselves any favors as of late either. Shazam Fury of the Gods was a huge flop when it came out in March. And despite star Zachary Levi's complaints that nobody's making quality content anymore, that unloved movie certainly contributed to superhero fatigue. As Marvel moves away from the one-two punch of Avengers Infinity War and Endgame and DC struggles to keep up, the world has gotten more and more projects that have only produced diminishing returns. Things felt especially dire for DC when The Flash, released in the middle of June, became one of Warner Brothers' biggest box office bombs, so in a way, it feels like Blue Beetle was set up to fail. You're the Blue Beetle. I could use that arsenal right about now! The truth is that despite repeatedly strapping on their wax wings and heading into the sun's direction, DC hasn't yet reached Marvel's heights. So Blue Beetle is another casualty, which is really a shame. A film that put a spotlight on Latino people and introduced fresh faces into the media landscape is a net positive, so hopefully more people will discover Blue Beetle with time.